I accept that the, that the defence solicitors commissioned expert reports to ensure there was no psychiatric defence to the charge of murder and to ensure fitness to plead and to be tried. These were responsible steps in a case of such gravity. I also accept that because of the action taken by criminal barristers, the defendant was not able to receive advice from junior barristers or the King's Council until October this year. I reject the suggestion from the defence that because he was heard on a prison phone telling his mother that he was banged to rights, he should be taken to have indicated at a very, very early stage that he would accept responsibility for the killing. He never indicated this to the court until the 16th of November, and at stages, his non-engagement frustrated the work being done on his behalf. In addition, as Mr. Carter Stevenson accepted in his written submission on sentence, he caused some additional delay through taking a belligerent attitude when required to come to court, including telling the jailers on one occasion that there was no point in attending a hearing at which he was required. Overall, my conclusion is that the defendant is entitled to less than the maximum discount on the murder count, and I would allow one-eighth. Although given the length of the term I will impose, the maximum discount allowed can be five years. Considering all these features, after a trial, the minimum term would have been 43 years. I allow five years, as I have said, for the plea of guilty indicated by counsel on the 16th of November, a few weeks before trial. A sentence of four years concurrent is imposed for sexual assault. The sentence for the brutal, sexually motivated murder of Zara Alina is imprisonment for life. The defendant will serve 38 years as the minimum term.